Shalom, shalom, shalom. Oh, praise the Abinawa, Yahweh, by Hashem, Mashak, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, and the name of the Father and the Son, through the glorious Holy Spirit. Peace and blessings to all the beloved brothers and sisters baptized in the New Testament for remission of sins, man. And today, I want to go in on regeneration, and I want to show that the regeneration is a resurrection. So, Lord, what in the title of this video will probably be uh, proof that the regeneration is the resurrection. And we're going to be going into the regeneration in Matthew 19 and 28. And I'm going to show that that regeneration in Matthew 19, 28 is talking about the resurrection. When the Lord bring our people out of their graves and put sinews and flesh and skin upon those dry bones, man, like it's written in Ezekiel 37, right? Which is uh, going into the first resurrection. And I'm going to show that the regeneration is the first resurrection. Okay, that's what I'm going to show in this video and prove it, man. I'm showing you that what regeneration is resurrection. And as you see, I already did a video showing that the regeneration is linked with the resurrection, which you beloveds can watch if you're interested. And if you're not interested, that's fine. Which, uh, you know, the scripture tell you narrow is the path. So I don't expect, you know, uh, the multitude <laughs> to get it, okay? That's not uh, what this is about, all right? I'm not worried about the multitude, man. I'm worried about the remnant, all right? The few, the ready, okay? So this is going to show you that the regeneration in Matthew 19 and 28 has not happened. Hasn't happened, man. And I'm going to show the scriptures is actually going to speak for themselves. And the scriptures is going to tell you because actually... I'm just showing you what the scriptures say, right? Because my doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. See that? So the Lord is about to let everybody know that what? The regeneration in Matthew 19 and 28 hasn't taken place because why? This regeneration is referring to the first resurrection, right? Which we have foreshadows of that, but the uh, actual thing uh, has not manifested yet, right? And we have Matthew 19 and uh, 27, which it says the disciples reward, right? The beloveds haven't received their consolation yet, man. Okay, the scripture says, woe unto you who have received their consolation. Okay, all the beloveds haven't received their consolation. The only consolation we have received is what? that God has comforted us in our tribulation. So this is Matthew 19, 27. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? So Peter, you know, is letting, letting the Messiah know that, hey man, we gave up everything to follow you, Lord. All right. What, what is going to be the reward of the disciples? For forsaking everything for you, what shall we have? Therefore, what are we going? What are we going to get? And uh, the Messiah said unto them, "Verily, which means truly, I say unto you, which is red letter, that ye, which means you, which have followed me, right? Those that have followed the Messiah. Did he say those that haven't followed me? See that this is why y'all got to break down the whole scripture, man. He didn't say everybody." Did he say everybody? That ye which have followed me. So this is dealing with the people what? That follow the Mashiach. You got to follow the lamb, baby. You're not uh, just going to not, I don't follow the lamb, baby. I don't follow the lamb, but I'm going to get the kingdom. No, he said that ye which have followed me. So this applies only to those that have followed him. If you haven't followed the Messiah, this doesn't apply to you, man. You can't apply everything to everybody because everything don't uh, apply to everybody. Just like the scripture doesn't apply to everybody. 
This is scripture applies to who? Ye which have followed me in the regeneration. Have everybody followed the Messiah in the reincarnation? No. So this is not what he's talking about. He's talking about who? Those that have followed him in the regeneration. When is the regeneration? Because is the regeneration a reincarnation? Because according to reincarnation, that has that already happened. According to reincarnation, it's already happened. But has the first resurrection happened? Huh? Matthew 19 and 28. In the regeneration. So when did the Messiah say the regeneration was? Did he say the regeneration is right now while we in Babylon and uh, under Rome? Huh? Did he say that's what the regeneration was? The regeneration. Uh, when is it, man? According to Matthew 20, 19, 28. Right? He said that ye which have followed me in the regeneration. Right? Is the regeneration the Assyrian Empire, the Babylonian Empire? Is that, did, did the regeneration take place then? Ask yourself that. Did the regeneration take place in the days of Adam? Did the regeneration take place in the Babylonian Empire, the Egyptian Empire, the Syrian Empire, the Persian Empire, what? The Roman Empire, the Greek Empire, right? Has it, has it, is that the regeneration? Let's see what the Messiah say. That ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory. So the regeneration is when? When the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory. No, I, the regeneration is right now while I do my YouTube video. That ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, man. So ask yourself this. For you guys that think that the regeneration happened already. Did did uh right, did it physically happen? This is talking about it it's, it's happening spiritually and physically, man. Right? Because the spiritual body is what? It's still a physical body. Just like the most high still has physical hair on his head. He still has a physical arm, he still has a a physical uh eyes, nose. The scripture said he has nostrils, man. <laughs> okay? So you're going to still have a, a, a what we call a, our image, man. We're still going to be in the image of God. I mean, you're still going to have a body, arms, five hand, fingers, right? On the left hand, five fingers on the right hand, right? Ten toes, members, all that. Right? You got all that. So it says what? That ye which have followed me in the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory. Did Yahweh Shah sit in the throne of his glory as Adam? Did he sit as, on the throne of his glory as Solomon? Huh? Is, was that when he said, was that when he said on the throne of his glory. Is that what Matthew 19, 20 talk, talk about? 19, Matthew 19, 28 talking about? When the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, has the Messiah sit in the throne of his glory? Yea and nay, Israel. Yea and nay, has the Messiah sit in the throne of his glory yet? The scripture says, ye which have followed me in the regeneration. When the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, Ye also shall sit upon the twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. So did did the Messiah sit on his throne of his glory yet? And did the did the uh did the uh did the twelve disciples sit on twelve thrones yet? Judging the twelve tribes of Israel? 
Has that happened yet? Right? And everyone that hath forsaken houses of brothers or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. So what? Regeneration is, is dealing with everlasting life, which is the resurrection. So what he says, uh, Verily I say unto you that ye which have followed me in the regeneration. When is the regeneration? When the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye shall also sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. So when does the Son of Man sit on the throne of his glory? And when does the uh, twelve tribe, the twelve disciples sit on the throne? Are the twelve disciples sitting on the throne making up YouTube videos? Is uh, doing a YouTube video and uploading it? Is that the twelve disciples sitting on thrones? Is that the regeneration? Come on, man, be honest. <laughs> this is not the throne, man. Uploading YouTube videos is not sitting on no damn throne. Come on now. This is not uh uh this is not that man. So the regeneration is what? The resurrection. So I'm gonna show that coming soon. Right, but we're gonna show that Hamashiach Yawashai hasn't sat on the throne of his glory yet. Then I'm gonna show that the uh twelve disciples haven't sat on the throne, judging the twelve tribes of Israel yet. How the, how the twelve if the twelve uh disciples was here you wouldn't have all these different camps bugged the hell out like that, man. Right? Because what? They'll be judging the 12 tribes of Israel in immortality. <coughs> it's like it. <coughs> this is talking about them being officers in the kingdom, man. This is not talking about uh, you, people on YouTube and, and making uh, videos, man. That's not what this Matthew 19 is talking about. That ain't the regeneration uploading YouTube videos on the internet. The regeneration is when the Son of Man sit on the throne of his glory. Take your time, beloved ones. Okay, now let's get a scripture to show when the Son of Man shall sit on the throne of his glory. And the first verse I'm going to get is Matthew 25. Matthew 25 and 31, man. To show when Yahweh Shah sits on the throne of his glory. And that hasn't happened yet. Matthew 25 and 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him. Has the Messiah came back in all his glory with all the holy angels with him? No. Then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. So Yahweh Shai says, this is the regeneration. This hasn't happened yet, man. The regeneration is referring to the resurrection, the world to come. When Yahweh Shai has his kingdom, okay? Satan is still the God of this world. So the regeneration hasn't happened yet. It says, when the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then he shall sit upon the throne of his glory. So the, uh, the, the re regeneration is what? When the Son of Man shall sit upon the throne of his glory. And what? That hasn't happened yet, man. Nobody can prove that Yahweh Shah have sat on the throne of his glory yet. Right? Because the scriptures tell you clearly that he's going to sit on the throne of his glory when he comes back with all the holy angels. That's when he's going to sit on the throne of his glory, when he's going to sit on what? The throne of David. He haven't sat on the throne of David yet. That's why when he came on the scene, they were trying to make him king, and he wasn't accepting it. Because what? The prince of the uh of this world cometh and have nothing in me, man. This is Satan's kingdom. This is why he brought the new covenant for the beloveds, because what? You know, we're in this world, man. We're in Satan's kingdom until what? Hamashiach Yahweh kingdom uh <clears throat> manifests physically. Of course, Hamashiach gave it to us spiritually. Right? Just like what? there's a spiritual regeneration which starts with uh, coming into this new covenant and being reborn becoming a new man that's the that's the uh, spiritual uh, regeneration that Titus speaks about coming into this new covenant 
and your sins being washed away by the regeneration of the Holy Spirit. See that? Being your sins being washed away and coming that new man. So the regeneration is when the Son of Man shall sit on, on the throne of his glory. That hasn't happened yet. So how can we say that what the uh, regeneration has has happened? So Mashiach Yahushua said the regeneration takes place when he sit on the throne of his glory. And we read Matthew 25 and 31, what it says, when the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. That's when he's going to do it. That's when he's going to sit upon the throne of glory. That's when we'll be regenerated, a.k.a. resurrected with those immortal bodies. Because reincarnation doesn't teach immortal body. Okay? You're not getting a, you don't get an immortal body through reincarnation. You get an immortal body through the resurrection. Okay? It hit different. So the regeneration is dealing with everlasting life. So that's dealing with the resurrection. Right? And that's when the Mashiach is going to sit on the throne of his glory. And before him shall be gathered all nations. He shall separate them from one another as a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats. And he shall set up the sheep on his right hand with the goats on his left. Then shall the king say unto them on the right hand, Come ye blessed of my father, and inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Which we know this is the real regeneration. When he sit upon the throne of his glory, and he he and we uh we physically enter into the kingdom prepared for us, right? Which we have it. We only have the kingdom inwardly, man. That's why the scripture says, "What the kingdom is within you, man." He gave it to us inwardly. This is why a lot of people don't want to accept it because they they haven't received it outwardly, which that outwardly is coming, and this is. It comes in the regeneration, which is the resurrection, which is the kingdom, which is the new covenant, <clears throat> which is when he shall sit upon the throne of his glory. So let's get another verse to show when the Lord sits upon the throne of his glory. Okay. And this is talking about what on earth, man, when Hamashiach Yahweh is going to rule on the earth. This is what it's talking about. When and what the kingdom of heaven come on earth, and Yahweh shall come down on this earth, man, and what rule and set up the kingdom of heaven and give what the disciples what the decree to uh, be basically the uh, the teachers uh, in immortality, man. Because a lot of brothers think, oh, I, why are you still teaching? Why are you still teaching? Negro, don't you know the disciples going to sit on 12 thrones uh, judging the Israelites in the new covenant? That's still teaching, man. We are, they, hey, we are always going to be learning. If we weren't going to be learning, the disciples ain't going to be sitting on, why are they sitting on thrones judging people? When you're judging someone, you're teaching them a goddamn lesson, man. So we go. They, hey, we, it's still gonna be teaching going on because what the disciples still gonna be sitting on the throne. A Mashiach gonna be on the throne. Okay. So uh, it says, when the Son of Man shall come in His glory, and all the holy angels with Him, then shall He sit upon the throne of His glory. So that's when He sit on the throne. On His glory, man. Right when the kingdom of heaven uh, manifests on earth after the resurrection. Okay. So let's get a uh, Luke twenty-two and uh, thirty, which is another verse to show when the regeneration takes place, when Yahweh Shai comes with the angels and sit on the throne. See that that hasn't happened yet, man. This is prophecy. Regener the regeneration in Matthew 19 and 28, that's prophecy. But the regeneration in Titus 3 and 5 is dealing with what? The new covenant and our sins being blotted out. That, hap that happened. That regeneration happened, which is talking about being reborn in the spirit. Yeah, that happened, but not all those other uh, regenerations. Nah, the regeneration that hasn't taken place is the resurrection. 
Okay? It's lucky. Luke 22 and 30. Okay? And I'll, I'll start at verse 29. And I appoint unto you a kingdom. Right? The kingdom is within, but it's going to uh, physically manifest too. Like the disciples said, what? Is it time that the uh, kingdom should come? Acts 1 and 6, right? They wanted the physical manifestation. That's why, because hey, they already had it inwardly. they like, baby, I'm ready to see it right now. I'm ready to see that thing manifest today, baby. Okay, because right when you desire something and when you deal with the Lord, you want it to manifest right then and there, but it don't work like that. You know, that thing is a seed and you got to water it and then it's, it's going to grow, man. It's that mustard seed. You know what I'm saying? You got to let that mustard seed grow. And I appoint unto you a kingdom as my father have appointed unto me that ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom. We haven't did that yet, y'all. So that's the regeneration hasn't happened yet. And sit on thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay? No, Ak, they still teaching. Why are they still <laughs> why are they still teaching, brother? You can't be in a new covenant. I guess y'all gonna tell Yahweh Shai and the 12 disciples that they not in the new covenant because they, they still teaching, they still judging. See that? Jake cut man. So let's go. Uh, <laughs> let's go back to that uh, Matthew nineteen and twenty eight because I clearly um, Hamashiach Yahushai said what that the twelve uh, that the uh, disciples is gonna sit on the throne. What in the kingdom, man? So that's after the resurrection and sit on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. See that. Israel, none of you Jakes have sit on no damn throne. None of you Jakes are on the throne. Humble your spirit, man. You brother lovers got to humble your spirit. None of us are sitting on thrones, man. We are all brethren. Nobody should be claiming they're sitting in Moses' seat, and uh, or or or, or your uh, you know your 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 Peter. You know what I'm saying? Nobody should be on no high horse like that, man. Chill out, man. Right. When 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 the disciples sit on the throne, that's when we gonna know. Hey man, those is the beloveds. You know that's King David. That's when all that happens, man. Okay, let's go back to Matthew nineteen. But hey man, be persuaded in your own mind. You know what I'm saying? Which uh, my job is not to persuade the multitude. My job is just what to put the information out there, and whether you hear it for bear, I don't give a damn. Okay. Because it's, it's not up to me who uh, listen and who don't listen. So I'm not worried about that. So let's see when the regeneration is again. Matthew 19, 28. And Yahweh shall said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you that ye which have followed me in the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, which we read Matthew 25 and 31, which says what? <clears throat> he going to sit on the throne of his glory when what? He come back with the angels. He ain't came back with the angels yet, man. All right? Ye also so sit upon 12 thrones. Have the disciples sat on 12 thrones? Like he, like he uh, uh, spoke about in Luke 22 and 30? That hasn't manifest. Okay? That ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit on the throne of his glory, Ye also so sit upon twelve throne, thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel, man. Okay, so guess what? The twelve thrones ain't I U I C. That's not I C B K. Oh well, brother, we're the we're the top camp, brother. We the we the home of the truth. You know, GMS. We we know more than Paul, Peter, and all of them. But nigga, you ain't sitting on no damn throne, bro. Stop it. The, uh, all the disciples, man. It, the, hey, the, the scripture says they name written in heaven, man. A lot of you, Jake, still doubting whether you're going to make it, man. Humble the fuck down, man. That ye which have followed me in the regeneration. Okay, when's the regeneration, Lord? A red letter. When the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory. Which we read that that happens when he come back with the angels, man. According to Matthew 25 and 31. 
So that's when the regeneration happens, man. That hasn't happened yet. Luke 22 and 30, what he says, you shall sit and eat with me at my kingdom and, and sit on 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. That hasn't been established yet, man. That's going to happen what? When we get back to Israel and the house of David is what? Fully uh, rebuilt, fully resurrected. Because that's what's going to happen. He said he's going to raise up the tabernacle of David, which was mean is what? He's resurrecting it. He's going to resurrect it. So all the tabernacle of David going to get the kingdom. They're going to be resurrected. Okay? Peace and blessings to the tabernacle of David, man. Right? He says, you shall sit upon 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. No, nah, brother, what the hell are you still teaching? Huh? No way you in a new covenant. <laughs> okay? So uh, this shows when the regeneration takes place. It takes place when when we sit on when the, when the twelve disciples sit on thrones. And I'm going to get a scripture in Revelation to show that the regeneration is indeed the resurrection, which hasn't happened yet. And Paul tells us that what the resurrection hasn't happened, man. That's that Hymenaeus and Philetus doctrine, right? Which is a, a, a terrible doctrine. That doctrine is almost is, is compared to blasphemy. So be careful, okay? Be careful following curriculum, all right? Hymenaeus and Philetus curriculums. So let's let's get the scripture to show that the disciples going to sit on the throne after the resurrection. They sit on the throne in the first resurrection, which shows that the regeneration is the resurrection because that's when the disciples sit on thrones, Okay? The disciples sit on thrones, what? In the regeneration. Just like Revelation is going to say, what? The disciples sit on thrones and what? The resurrection. They, you don't, the disciples don't sit on the throne in reincarnation, man. All right? Reincarnation ain't got no disciples sitting on no throne, man. So uh, chill out. Let's go to Revelations to show the 12 uh, disciples sitting on 12 thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel. Rev it's the resurrection, man. Not not no damn black ages, the dark ages and the damn moors because that's what a lot of the brothers teach that this Revelation 20 is talking about oh, I guess talking about the moors and you know the dark ages. And Nah, bro, it's not talking about that. Okay? That's not the first resurrection. All right? The damn moor in Islam a moor in Islam is not talking about Revelation 20 is not talking about no damn moors in Islam in the dark age is bugging the hell out let's go down to Revelation 20 and uh 4 and I saw thrones what did he say? I saw thrones so this is when the disciples sit on those thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel this is the real regeneration which is the resurrection. Because the regeneration is when the uh, Son of Man sit on the throne of his glory and when the disciples sit on their uh, 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. This is the precept for that verse. It's Revelation 20. <clears throat> it's like it. I saw thrones. Who is these thrones for? The 12 apostles that have been regenerated and resurrected. And have received the skin, flesh, and the sinews, sinews, okay, and uh, have been resurrected, like is prophesied in Ezekiel thirty-seven. That what they dry bones have been resurrected. Paul got his head chopped off, and what the Lord is going to what regenerate, regenerate that head, man. Okay, I saw through and John the Baptist. I saw thrones, and they that sat upon them. So he's seeing John of Patmos, the revelator, he is seeing the 12 apostles and 12 disciples sitting on the thrones in the regeneration. He's seeing the regeneration in Revelation 20 and 4. He's not saying, well, brother, the, regen the regeneration was when I was in the island of Patmos. I That's the regeneration. He was one of the apostles. He didn't say, well, brother, well, you know, the regeneration is when I was in, you know, uh, I was in uh, Ephesus. That was a regeneration. Right? You ain't know that, brother? Nah, that that because they, that's not when they sat on thrones. Not a, the regeneration of being born again in the spirit. 
that happened, right? But the regeneration of getting what? The resurrected body? That hasn't happened, the first resurrection. I saw thrones, and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them, to the twelve apostles. I saw the souls. The soul is what? That's the spirit, man. Or what? That's the uh, inner man. Okay? Your soul, which is what? Your, your conscious, your personality, man. That's you. Your spirit is, is the breath. Okay? That's the breath will keep you alive. But your soul is, is, is who you are. Right? Because it is a difference between the soul and the spirit. And, and the difference is that what? The spirit is the, the breathing part of you, which is the oxygen, which is the spirit. Right? But the soul is what? That's who the hell you is. That's your personality, your conscience, and your thoughts. Yo, that's you. So he's seeing the souls, meaning who they really is, of them that were beheaded, meaning he's seen John the Baptist's soul, he's seen Paul's soul, he's seen, uh, and all those other uh, saints that was beheaded, man. He's seen all of those uh, martyrs for the witness of Yahweh Shai. He's seen all those beloveds, what? That's going to sit on those thrones. That's going to what? Make the regeneration. Okay, A, the resurrection. <coughs> Slacking. And uh, for the word of God, which had not worshipped the beast. Neither his image, right? Which going go into this Roman wicked system. Right? Neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads. Right? And you don't want to receive that Roman mark upon your foreheads, which uh, they have a lot of devices, man. Don't get it twisted. But it says, well, we are not ignorant of his devices, man. He have a lot of devices, man, that he can put in that forehead. Okay? Or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. <clears throat> okay? <clears throat> so this is dealing with what? The first resurrection. <clears throat> when the disciples sit on thrones. Right? Verse 5. But the rest of the dead live not again. So the rest of the dead, they not, they not re reincarnate in their way into no kingdom. The scripture says the rest of the dead live not again until the thousand years were finished. <clears throat> right? They in the spirit realm, man. See that? So that show you everybody ain't getting reincarnated because reincarnation is what? It's supposed to be the three or four generations. That's way more than three or four generations in Revelation 20 and 5, man. But the rest of the dead live not again until the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. So the first resurrection is when disciples uh, that were beheaded, the, the souls that were beheaded, when they sit on them thrones, man. This ain't happened yet. So the regeneration happen, hasn't happened yet, which is the resurrection, the first resurrection. That's what Yahweh Shai was talking about in Matthew 19, 28. He was talking about the first resurrection when the disciples sit on what? 12 thrones judging the 12 tribes, man. And when he come back to sit on his throne, right? This is why they says what? They lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. When you reign, that means you're ruling as a king. We can't, we can't, none of, none of the brothers can say what? They're ruling over another brother. You're not ruling over other brothers. Humble down, man. We are not ruling over our brother. This this is when this happens in the uh, regeneration. <clears throat> it says they shall reign with Christ, man. A thousand years. Jake Jake hasn't lived a thousand years. This is immortality. What 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 Jake has lived a thousand years? It says what. They reign with Christ, what, a thousand years, man. Nobody 
has uh, even lived to be a thousand years old yet. Showing you that the regeneration and resurrection hasn't happened yet because that's when we'll be able to live, what, a thousand years again, which I'm going to get the regeneration, which will tell you that in the regeneration, we're going to go back to how it was when, what, you were able to live long lives, man. But it's going to even be better than that because, what, you're going to be able to reign for a thousand years, meaning you can live a thousand years in eternal life. It's going to be we got long lives, man. Which uh, they actually live longer than that, but that goes into even darker mysteries. So it says that the, uh, the twelve apostles are gonna reign with Christ a thousand years on Earth, man. That ain't happened. Okay, this is not one West, man. Nah, brother, you know my shy hate was sitting on the throne in, in one West in, in damn Babylon, New York, bro. <laughs> That's mad. Oh, no, nah, brother. You know, that's why, you know, Comfy came down as the Holy Spirit, you know, because that was the new covenant. Nah, man. Stop it. Pure wickedness. Okay, one West was not the, sitting on no damn thrones. Uh, King David didn't sit on no throne. There's no Masha, none of that, man. Stop it. Let's get this word rain. To be king. To exercise kingly power. Come on, man. Who, Jake, Jake, well, you're not ruling as king right now, man. Of the governor of a province, of the, to, of the rule of the Messiah, of the reign of Christians in the millennium. To control. The scripture says feed the flock not by constraint, man. You're not feeding the flock by constraint. So this is total cut, man. They reign with you have a shy. You're going to be a king. This hasn't happened yet, man. According to uh, <clears throat> the resurrection and the regeneration. Now, in the spirit, you know, you could be in the spirit of a king, but you're not what? You're not ruling over the 12 tribes of Israel as a king, man. So, uh, this is the resurrection. This is when the disciples sit on thrones. This is when they reign with Yahweh Shai on thrones and reign as kings for a thousand years to set up the kingdom of heaven. But the rest of the dead lived not again until a thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. Letting you know when we reign with Yahweh Shai in the regeneration, that's the first resurrection. When 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 those those beloveds that was beheaded, they sit on them thrones and reign with Yahweh Shai, man. Those that didn't take the image and worship the beast and receive his mark, right? That denied Herod like John the Baptist, man. But the rest of the dead lived not again until a thousand years were finished. <clears throat> this is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is he that have part in the first resurrection. See that? So you have to make the res first resurrection. Or you're not going to live, man. Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. On such, the second death have no power. But they shall be priests of God and of Yahweh Shai and shall reign with him a thousand years, man. That's not the dark ages, man. The damn uh, Moors. Nah, that was the Moors ruling over Esau in the Dark Ages. That's not what this talking about, man. The disciples, this is not, the, the disciples didn't sit on the throne as no damn Moor and no damn Islam, man. This is talking about the resurrection, the regeneration. Matthew 19 and 28. Matthew 25 and 31. Luke 22 and 30, man. In the kingdom. This is talking about in the kingdom, man. The regeneration is the kingdom. The resurrection is the kingdom. The regeneration is new covenant. The resurrection is the new covenant. So this shows that the improved that the resurrection is the regeneration. Because this is when the disciples sit on thrones, when they reign as kings with Yahweh Shai on them thrones for a thousand years. That's why it's called the resurrection. 
in Revelations. But in Matthew, it was called the regeneration, which was what? Being reborn through what? Resurrection. And let's, let's go to uh, Corinthians to show the resurrection bodies are not re reincarnated bodies, man. Those are immortal bodies. That haven't happened yet, man. Right now, we receive immortality through the blood of the Lamb, but what? We still in our more body. Right? And we have to what? Over, endure to the end, overcometh. The scripture says, He that overcometh shall sit on, sit on the throne with the Lamb, man. Huh? Still have to endure and keep the works until the end. Okay, in this new covenant. See that? 1 Corinthians 15 and 12. Now, if Christ be preached that he rose from the dead, what, how say some among you there is no resurrection of the dead? But if there be no resurrection of the dead, then Christ is not risen. And if Christ is not risen, then our preaching is vain, and your faith is also vain. It's a rap, bro. Ye are false witnesses of God, because we have testified of God that he raised up Christ, whom he raised not up. If so, be that the dead rise not. So the Hamashak Yahweh was an example of how that's, the, that's how the dead coming back, man, through the regeneration and resurrection. For if the dead rise not, like it says in the prophets, Ezekiel 37, I will put flesh upon you, then Christ is not raised. And if Christ be not raised, your faith is vain, and ye are yet in your sins. So if Yahweh Shah didn't raise, and the resurrection is a false doctrine, that means the new covenant is uh is fake too. And that would mean what? We're we're just all in sin, man. Which is all BS, man. Then they which also are falling asleep in Yahweh Shah are perished. And that means <clears throat> if there is no resurrection, which this also de totally debunks reincarnation, because you're not coming back. That's why he says, then they which also are falling asleep, meaning everybody that died in Yahweh Shah are perished. That means John the Baptist and uh, Paul, they all perished, man, because they, they both got their head cut off if it ain't no resurrection. That's why in Revelation 24, we read about what? The beloveds that got their head cut off and that they what? Going to sit on thrones and they going to reign with Yahweh Shah, which is the first resurrection. That hasn't happened yet, which is the regeneration. When the Son of Man come in his glory and shall sit on his throne, and the twelve tribes sit on their thrones. That happens in Revelation 24, which is the resurrection, which is synonymous with the regeneration. Because the resurrection is the regeneration. That's why when you read Ezekiel 37, he puts what? Skin. He he, he regenerate that skin on them dry bones, man. Okay, but now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. For since by man came with death, by man also came the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive, man. So guess what, man? Everybody dies in Adam. Everybody don't die because you have a shot went off. Stop it. Even so in Christ shall all be made alive, man, because Yahweh Shai is, 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 is dealing with life, man. But every man in his own order, Christ the first fruits, and afterward they that are Christ that is coming. Then cometh the end when he shall have delivered up the kingdom of God, even the Father, when he shall have put down all rule and authority and power, for he must reign. Has Yahweh Shai reigned yet, y'all? That's the real regeneration. The resurrection. When the disciples and those that were beheaded sit on them thrones, Revelation 20 and 4, right? The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death, right? Which the Lord already conquered death through the spirit, but it's got to physically manifest as well, okay? Because what? There's a spiritual side and a physical side to everything. For he hath put all things under his feet, but when he hath saith all things are put under his feet, it is manifest that he is expected, which did put all things under him. And when all things shall be subdued unto him, then shall the Son also himself be subject unto him that put all things under him, that God may be all in all. Right? When the Most High give Yahweh the kingdom, because at the end of the day, 
Satan has the kingdom right now, right? And this is why what? They're going at it with each other, right? And, and uh, warring for the battle of the, of, the, of the kingdom. Else what shall they do which are baptized for the dead? If the dead rise not at all, why are they then baptized for the dead? And why stand we in jeopardy every hour? I'm going to jump down to uh, the resurrection. Verse uh, 38. But God giveth it a body as it hath pleased him. Right? So in a, when he regenerate your new body, it's going to be according to your works, man. As it hath pleased him. And to every seed his own body. So every seed gets their own body, man. All flesh is not the same flesh. There is a f one kind of flesh of man, another of beasts, another of fishes, and another of birds. There are celestial bodies. Let's get the word celestial. Okay. There are celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial. But the glory of the celestial is one, and the glory of the terrestrial is one. Right? So celestial is not a reincarnated body. Let's get celestial. Existing in heaven. You think the gods need to be reincarnated? Strong's G, 2032. Epiranias. Epiranias. Right, so this is talking about what? The heavens. The world of the gods and angels. There are celestial bodies, man. And we have terrestrial, which is talking about the earthly body. So the resurrected body is dealing with the, the, the spiritual body, man. The spiritual body is not no carnal reincarnated body. Okay. There is one glory of the sun, another the glory of the moon, another glory of the stars, and one star different from another star in glory. So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. It is raised in in corruption. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. This hasn't happened yet. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. Jake, Jake, the resurrection, this is the first resurrection. Jake has not received the spiritual body yet, man. The scripture says the outward man perish every goddamn day, day by day. It says though the outward man perish, the inner man is renewed day by day. Right? Which we have the uh, Holy Spirit in our body, but we, don't, we haven't received those heavenly bodies. There is a natural body, and there is a spiritual body. So have have the, have Ezra, have anybody got their spiritual body yet? Showing you the regeneration and resurrection ain't happened. And so it is written: the first man Adam was made a living soul; the last Adam made a quickening spirit. <clears throat> so that's it, man. I'm gonna jump down to verse fifty. Now this I say, brother, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. So you can't get the kingdom of God with a reincarnated fleshly body, man. With you know, I, I had ten thousand bodies. No, nah, man, that's flesh and blood nonsense, right? You got to get the, the the regenerated, resurrected body, which is the spiritual body, <clears throat> which is what the transfiguration. Okay, neither doth incorruption inherit incorruption. So guess what? Somebody that's corrupt and wicked as hell, they're not going to inherit the kingdom uh, and be in corruption, man. You can't get the kingdom through corruption. It says, neither doth corruption inherit in corruption. So everybody that has a corrupt spirit, they're not going to inherit in corruption and mortality, man. <clears throat> the rest of the dead live not again. You got to hit the, make the first resurrection. <clears throat> it's like him. All right. We hold, I'll show you a mystery. We show not all sleep. See that? That means everybody didn't die, which that totally daggers reincarnation. Because if reincarnation is a doctrine that everybody slept, the Bible says we shall not all sleep. Everybody didn't die. 
Well, we shall all be changed. In a moment, right? This says, Enoch pleased God, and he was translated. He was changed. In a moment, a twinkling of the eye at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound. Has the last trumpet been blown? No. Showing you the regeneration and resurrection has to happen for the spiritual body. Now, the Lord uh, done miracles, but what? He hasn't uh, brought that uh, resurrected body yet. <clears throat> That's why in John, I would say, uh, when he come back, we shall be as he is, man. Showing you again, it hasn't happened. Right? But the bloodshed of the new covenant definitely has manifested. And that's how uh, we've been regenerated in, in what? In our mind. Renewed in the mind. Not, not, not the flesh. The flesh hasn't been, uh, you know, uh, uh, turned into uh, in corruption, <clears throat> right? It says, uh, in a moment, the twinkling of the eye, the last trump has the last trump been blown? No, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible. Have the dead been raised incorruptible? No. Because if they was, you wouldn't be talking about some damn reincarnation. Well, you know, I'll just come back to reincarnation. No. Right? For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality, man. Right? Which we do that through the blood, and that's going to lead to us receiving these 1 Corinthians 15 resurrected bodies. These resurrected bodies are immortal bodies, so you're not going to need, and what? You can't fuck your way into the kingdom. That's not the scripture says there is no marriage in the resurrection. Jake talking about, well, you know, we'll just come back in the kingdom. Well, how are you going to come back if, if, if there's no sex in the resurrection? The scripture says there is no sex in the resurrection. <coughs> you can't marry in the resurrection. So how are you going to fuck your way into the kingdom, man? This is Matthew 22 and 30. For in the resurrection, they neither marry nor are given in marriage. So in a resurrection, you can't what? You say, oh, well, brother, I'm just going to come back as somebody else, brother, somebody else, child. No, nah, man, you can't uh, fuck your way into the kingdom, man. There's no sex in the resurrection showing you what? You ain't getting the kingdom through reincarnation. Okay, you can't say, "Well, brother, we know the, the wicked, the wicked Israelites just come back through my loins." No, there's there's no sex in the resurrection, man. Okay, so that's that, man. Right, we have Luke twenty and thirty five, but they which shall be accounted worthy to obtain that world. Everybody's not going to obtain that world. Cutting your oh, everybody get the kingdom doctrine and the resurrection from the dead, neither marry nor are given in marriage. So, what you can't reincarnate your way into the kingdom, man. There is no uh marriage in resurrection. So, in the resurrection, you're not gonna be what having uh babies, man. There's no sex in the resurrection. So what? That means you, uh, well, you, you can't come back as a baby. You have to get the kingdom through the resurrection. Neither can they die anymore. See that? So all this, you know, we come back as a baby in the kingdom. No, nah, man, that curriculum, uh-uh, ain't no more death. Okay? And our children of the kingdom being children of the resurrection. See that? So you can't fuck your way into the kingdom, man. The scriptures tell you, that they're, they're, they don't marry in the resurrection, man. There's no marrying in the resurrection, so you can't have sex to try to think you're going to slither in the kingdom. For in the resurrection, they neither marry. There's no uh, sex in the resurrection. So how the hell are you going to come back as a baby when there's no marrying and no sex going on during the resurrection? All right? So uh, shout out